Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Code Blocks lesson. Today, friends, we are going to make an Among Us character. So let's get cracking. So, friends, the first thing we need to do is click on Code Blocks, and then we need to choose Create a New Code Block. When this screen appears, we are going to choose New Design. In the designs, I want you to click Modify, and we're going to create a new object, and we are going to start with the leg. Choose Rename Variable, type Leg, tell it OK. Make sure you never duplicate these, because it does break them. We want to change our file name to Among Us. And then I'm going to click down here and find our first shape, which is a sphere. When you bring out the sphere, connect it, open it up, and change the radius to size 5. And make the steps 36. We are going to make it a special size with the scale command. Bring out the scale, and we're going to keep x of 1 and 1. So the radius of 5 will give it a diameter of 10. But we're going to make the height 1.33. We'll hit play real quick so you can see that. There is our little sphere. Let's zoom in and get a good look at the bottom of our foot. This is below zero because of the way code blocks work. Let's move it up so that we can see it. The correct number should be 6.5. When we hit play, you can see that snaps right to the bottom of the world. Our next shape we're gonna add is a cylinder. When you bring the cylinder out, choose its parameters and once again make the radius five and we are gonna make the height 13.33. Change the sides to 36. And we are going to go back to move and do a move command so that it raises up. We're going to choose 13, and then we're going to turn those into a group. I do not want them to be different colors, so I'm going to make them the same. I'm going to go red and red, and when you hit play, you have just created one leg. For the next part, let's create another new object. Once again, never duplicate these. Choose Rename, and we're going to call this the body. The body is once again created with a sphere. Let's bring this sphere out. I'm going to make the body red, and then we're going to change the radius on this to 8. We're going to go with those same 36 steps. Once again, we are going to bring out a scale command, and the numbers I want you to use are 1.375, and then keep the 1 and make the height 0.8. We need to bring out a move, and we're going to move it up in the air, 15. Back to the shapes again. Let's bring out a cylinder, connect it, make it red, stretch it out, and then for this one, I want the radius to also be 8. I need the height of this one to be 16, and we're going to stay with that consistent size 36 for the sides. Let's quickly go back to our scale command. And to make this one correct, we need to make x 1.375, and then keep the others at 1 and 1. Again, we're going to bring out a move, and this time we're going to move it 23 for z. We need another sphere, and let's do this smart by breaking these apart, duplicating our sphere commands, adding the sphere below, and then connecting it back up. And then the only thing we need to change is 31 for Z. Let's hit play, and you can see our leg draws, just like you'd expect. And then here comes our body with its three pieces that stitch themselves together. And now we simply have to finish with a create group. Let's make one quick modification, changing the sides to 48 and the steps to 48. And watch this, it turns out super smooth once you make that quick modification. Friends, this is where it gets kind of fun. I'm going to stagger these so that we're using our space wisely. I'm going to create another new object, making sure it is below. And of course, we're going to use rename, and I'm going to call this one face. I've done a little bit of math for you, and by adding a copy of the body, we are going to create the face. Drop your body variable in there. We need to make sure that face shows up white. Underneath the copy of body, 
we need to bring out a scale command. I've done some fancy math for you, and we need to type these numbers. 0.72 is our x, 0.625 is our y, and 0.375 is our z. We're going to bring out a move command, and we're going to move it toward the front, negative 6. Let's make sure that speed is up to fast, and when we hit play, boom, we've got the face on our Among Us character. Remember, it is essential to always bring out a new object. You can never duplicate those, but we are going to duplicate the skills as we make the pack. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to type pack, and then I am going to duplicate all that code, still adding a copy of body, but I need the pack to be read like the rest of our little Among Us character. And then we need different numbers. We need 0.54 for X. We keep the 0.625 for Y. And we need to make Z 0.5. We want it to move towards the back, so it is going to be positive 11. When we hit play, body, face, and pack are in place. All we need to do is get our feet. We can complete that by bringing in one last new object. I am going to name him Dude, because it's easy to spell. Now we need to add a copy of the object, move to your data, and bring out a leg. I am going to move that leg, modify move, and I want it to move to the right, so I'm going to try 8. I'm going to duplicate those, and I'm going to make the other one go to the left, which is negative 8. I am done with my legs at that point, so I'm going to delete the part, data, and delete the legs. And then I'm just going to use add a copy to bring in the other cool things we built. So we need to add a copy of the body. I'm going to duplicate that, throw out the word body, and replace it with a face. And we're going to Add a copy of that again by hitting duplicate, throw out the face, and bring in the pack. One last create group, and then delete all our other parts so the originals are not in the way. So we need to delete the body, duplicate, let's delete the face, throw the body out, and last but not least, duplicate, throw out the face, and bring in the pack. Deleted the legs, face, body, play. Let's see how our little character looks. All right, so eight is too far. So friends, let's just try six and negative six. Hit play and let's see what we made. There you have it, friends. Almost instant Among Us characters. All right, friends, so that was some pretty slick code that I shared with you using the scale command. I did some math in a spreadsheet so I could find the numbers that would make our character look the way we want. Just so you know, changing the colors of this is as easy as saying, I want yellow legs. I want the body to be yellow. I want the face to still stay white. I want the pack to be yellow. And then when you hit play, boom, you have got a second character just like that. Once you've built your characters, you can hit export. And if you export them as a part, I would name it Among Us. And then I would name this one Yellow. And then make sure you don't lock the size so that way you can adjust them and you can instantly save that little character as a shape. At that point, when you return to normal Tinkercad, switch to 3D Designs, create a brand new one. And in your design, instead of basic shapes, you need to go all the way down to your shapes collection. After they render, you'll be able to see your cool little character that you just created. Because we did not lock the scaling, you can easily do Control D, hold down Shift, and shrink him so that you've got a second one. You do need to know that if you pick a different color, it 
all becomes that color. You cannot from here change them to two colors. To get all the possible colors you wanted, you would have to export them like I showed you back in the CodeBlocks project. Alrighty friends, so I hope you had a ton of fun with this little bit of code. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.